Hello, I'm Gail Whitaker, and this is a County News Minute. Winter is upon us, and that means everyone is looking for a way to safely heat their homes. Annetta Norwood, public safety educator with York County Fire and Life Safety, is here to tell us how to do that. Annetta, what can people do to stay safe and warm this winter? First and foremost, if you use your furnace to heat your home, which is a good thing to do, um, it should be cleaned prior to the season. It's not too late. You could still have it cleaned and have it inspected keeping the filter changed. If you have a fireplace, make sure that you uh, clean it out regularly, dispose of the ashes properly, not on the back deck, not um, anywhere near the home. It should be in a metal container away from the home. Chimneys should be cleaned and inspected once a year. Any of these fossil fuel burning appliances though can put off carbon monoxide. So carbon monoxide alarms are recommended in any home with any type of fossil fuel burning appliance. And what about the use of kerosene heaters? Kerosene heaters and any kind of space heaters uh, need proper care. The only thing that should go inside a kerosene heater is kerosene fuel, never gasoline or some other substitute fuel. Um, the wick needs to be trimmed, follow manufacturer's instructions, keeping a window open to keep it vented, again, to allow the carbon monoxide to escape. Um, any other type of electrical appliance or portable heaters need space. All of them need space, at least three feet around the, the heater there should be a clear space, no combustible materials. Annetta, do you have any other safety tips for us today? Oh, absolutely. Um, if you use any, we mentioned gas appliances. If you use any kind of gas appliances, know where the automatic emergency cutoff is. Um, also, having fire extinguishers mounted near exits, um, having them on every level of the home. Uh, smoke alarms, of course, mm -hmm. having them on every level of the home, in or near the bedrooms. If you do use some type of alternative heating like the fireplace or, or space heaters, turn them off before you go to bed and before you leave the house. You can always cover up with some extra blankets at night and it's a much safer thing to do. Well, thank you for coming out today and giving us these safety tips. And if you need more home heating safety tips, please call the Department of Fire and Life Safety at 890-3600. In an emergency, always call 911. I'm Gail Whitaker, and this has been a County News Minute. <laughs>